Okay, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to look at a Smith Corona from the 1950s. But this repair will work on the ones that were previous to this. 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. They all do the same thing at some point in time. When these machines sit, and they sit for a long time, the space bar sometimes will stick right here. Just right, physically stick right like that. It won't push until you push it kind of hard, then it, all of a sudden it goes. And then it, then it seems to work. What happens on these is they sit and the little rubber pads under, underneath here get a little gooey, a little sticky, and when it sits up here at rest, those little pads stick right to the metal. And I'll show you when I flip it over what I mean. So once you once you break it free, it's okay for a while, but if it sits for a week or a month or something, it's going to stick initially. I mean, it would, it would just be like that. It won't go. So I'm going to show you what those pads are, and it works in literally all of these Smith Corona manuals that are this style. Even the electric machines can have the same problem happen. So best thing to do is to get it on its back. So let's make a little platform so I can flip it upside down here and rest it on there. Okay, so let's get to what I want to get to. Here's the space bar right back here, up here. So let's see if we can see what I need to see. There's the stops. There's one there's two and there's little rubber stops right there get my little pointer tool here so so we got the stop and, uh, this side you know when you press the space bar it bottoms out here and then when it comes back it touches on the back side here that you can't really see it touches this piece of metal and it gets sticky right right there where it makes contact on both sides so one thing you can do is get in here and I've done this many times is get in here and clean it so you get in here and clean that off with whatever chemicals you got and then sure enough it, it, it'll work but I've had those re-stick even after you clean them um, it's just too much contact area and it has a tendency to to stick and uh, so I've learned a few tricks one thing is to make this a different contact point you know so it's not touching well I'll show you one thing you can do is you can move this arm you can just bend it over to the side you can actually see now the little mark. See that little mark right there? That's where it's been making contact, and that's the trouble. It, so just moving it to the side there is probably going to solve the problem. Getting it away from that sticky mark. So that would probably solve it, and you can do it either way. This this part bends real easy. You can go to the inside like that and it's the same difference do it on both both sides so take this one bend it in so now it's got a different spot and it's still got the same clearance up and down so you have to make sure that doesn't get out of whack or even better so it doesn't have a flat so it's not a flat spot like it was before you can tw twist it twist it. I'm going to exaggerate it, but you can twist it like this. So it's twisted, and it will still work. It's, you got to make your clearance, make sure it still works, but you can twist it so just the edge is touching, and that's going to definitely keep it from uh, sticking. That's a little exaggerated. You don't need to go that much. You can go a little less like that, and then it's still going to, see it still works. That way, 
the flat spot, you know, it won't sit flat against that metal and it won't stick again. So that's the easy fix on these, and some of the machines you can't get access to as easily as this one. But that is the same idea. They all have the same arms here and the same pad. I mean, ideally, I guess you could switch the pad out, clean it a little better. But this is definitely the mechanics trick for these Smith Coronas. And just do it to both sides. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to not only move it to the side. I'm going to bend it a little, so it's got a little angle, just like that. And it's still going to be in proper adjustment, which is really all you got to check. Make sure it's pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple machine. So just got to make sure. That it's uh, you know spacing properly still, and it is. You can always adjust that if you need to. There's some linkage down here and stuff. That is the quick fix for the sticky space bar on a Smith Corona manual or electric portable. Good day.